Many triathletes spend their time training and getting qualified for Kona. It is considered one of the most anticipated races that every triathlete looks forward to, but others may have different plans, just like Sam Long. In today's video, we'll be covering Sam Long and his plan for 2022's Kona. To find out more about it, keep watching until the very end. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. Date of Challenge Roth, powered by HEP, one of the long-running jewels of the European Triathlon Summer, has unveiled an excellent lineup of headline names for July 3rd, 2022. Three of Germany's greatest ever long-distance runners will return to Bavaria, as will all the past Challenge Roth victors. Patrick Lang and Anne Hogg, champions in 2021, will compete again. Along with Sebastian Keenley, the 2014 Ironman World Champion, Keenley's Roth novel was published in 2018. Lang, of course, will be hoping to recover from his early season collision with Keenley. In his last season in the sport, will be welcomed back. Sam Long is an intriguing addition to the contest. Long wants to return to Utah at the end of October to see if he can take that next step after finishing second in Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George last year. Unfortunately, the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii, just three weeks before that, appears to be out of the running. Long said shortly after the Challenge Roth news that Kona is not on his calendar for 2022. The news is real, he said on Facebook. He also added that he has no plans to participate in Kona as he has chosen to concentrate on Challenge Roth first and then on the intermediate distance. He also said that he doesn't want to spend the entire year focusing on the full distance for his development and profession. Still, only 26, the American athlete has opted to add Challenge Roth to his list of racing ambitions for this year. However, athletes will need to pick their battles carefully in a season that includes the PTO Tour for the first time. Long holds a large early lead in the Challenge Family World Bonus Pool, despite having already won Clash Miami and Challenge Porto Veras. So it might be a sensible choice on many levels, especially with Roth delivering the most points. While Kona is not on his calendar, the first Ironman World Championship of this extraordinary triathlon year is the postponed 2021 edition, which will take place on May 7th in St. George. After amazing back-to-back -back wins at Clash Miami and Challenge Challenge Porto Veras to open his 2022 campaign, Long is now fully focused on preparing for that enormous challenge. There was a chance he'd run Ironman 70.3 Oceanside the following Saturday, but that now looks to be off the table. In the PTO World Rankings, Sam is now ranked number 5, Jan Ferdino, Lionel Sanders, and Daniel ahead of him. Samuel Long's relentless excitement and incredible talent have made him a future superstar. He was born in Boulder, Colorado in December 1995 and has quickly established himself as one of America's best long-distance competitors, as seen by his expanding collection of the 70.3 and full Ironman medals. Long finished his first full Ironman event when he was 18 years old, and five years later, he was known as the youngest American to win an Ironman race. Sam, who is six feet four inches tall and is known for his yo, 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 welcome, is affectionately known as Big Unit. He has established himself as a big figure in the sport with a personality to match his size. He has started a fascinating competition with Lionel Sanders, one of the triathlon's most accomplished competitors, and his idol because of his reckless attitude. When the coronavirus outbreak knocked away the competitive racing schedule, Long challenged the Canadian to a duel for King of the Mountain on the 34-kilometer uphill cycle course at Mount Lemon in Arizona. As the two competed on Strava to beat each other's times, they developed mutual respect and camaraderie. When competitive racing resumed, they continued to push each other to the limit, culminating in an epic Ironman 70.3 St. George duel that exemplified their competitive natures. Long lost that race, but the five-second advantage against an athlete of Sanders' size indicated the American's promising future. He's lightning fast on land, owing this to what he refers to as triathlon's best legs. But his performance at the inaugural Collins Cup exposed his relative weakness in the water. Long was four and a half minutes behind Jan Ferdino and Sam Appleton after the swim, which he felt was a clear reminder of the changes he needed to make after finishing third in his matchup. Long has won two full Ironman races, a slew of 70.3 races, and a slew of podium finishes at both durations. 
In 2016, he placed 17th in his first professional race at 70.3 Boulder, and later that year, he won a 70.3 podium in Calgary. In November 2016, he finished 15th in his first full distance race since going pro in Arizona. Sam finished 7th in a complete Ironman race in his hometown of Boulder in June 2017, and he replicated the accomplishment three months later in Wisconsin, finishing 8th. Top 10 results in both full distance and 70.3 events peppered the start of his 2018 until he finished second at Louisville for his first full Ironman podium. Long had been making steady improvement. Sam had a successful year in 2019. After finishing sixth at 70.3 St. George, he won his first 70.3 race in Chattanooga in May. He captured another less than a fortnight later in Victoria. He made his Ironman 70.3 World Champion debut at Nice in August of this year, finishing 35th. At the end of that month, he won his first full Ironman race at Chattanooga, clocking 8 hours, 22 minutes, and 20 seconds. He's progressed from a race contender to a race winner. The COVID-19 pandemic severely interrupted 2020, but it didn't stop Sam from establishing course records and victories at the PTO-supported Bear Lake Half and Ironman Cozumel 70.3. He also became the youngest American to break the 8-hour mark in full Ironman when he finished third in Florida in 7 hours, 55 minutes, and 33 seconds. Seconds. Long's efforts earned him a spot in the PTO 2020 Championship at Challenge Daytona, where he finished ninth against an all-star field. Long continued to improve in 2021, winning 70.3 races in Texas and St. George, and setting course records and victories at Ironman Corps d'Alene and 70.3 Boulder. Long finished seventh overall in the Collins Cup despite finishing third in his heat. Soon after, he made his mark on the world stage by finishing second behind Gustav Eden at the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George. That ends our video for today. What do you think of Sam Long choosing Roth over Kona? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thank you for watching and staying with me till the end. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next upload. Take care, everyone. Bye.